So here's that Martin we caught earlier today. A nice dark, dark Martin. Looks like a male. So that's what we're after. So I'll skin them here and then I'll put them on the gamble and flush them and put them on the board and I'll show you how I do that. When I get rolling there, it doesn't take very long. Right now I'll take a little bit more time to show you. So I'm gonna start here. Go just underneath the hide. Just under the vent hole. And up there. So now I'm gonna cut, just like on the coyote from the tail, up to both sides of the vent. A little trickier to get started here. Because it's a member of the weasel family, it's got uh, scent glands, so sometimes you hit those and they squirt at you a little bit, so be careful of that. And now we're gonna open it up. So I was just gonna start towards the groin and start Working that off, just like that. Pull the swizzle stick free. Bend the leg here. I'm just gonna work my fingers. Both sides, pull it up to the ankle, that's freed, work my way down to the tail, go to the other leg, same thing, just kind of wiggle and work your fingers along the hide and separate it from the meat. And uh, there we go. So now we're gonna go over to the skinning gamble. So now I got it on the gamble. Um, here's the, the scent glands. Here's one that I nicked there. You can see it's squirted on my finger. Not too bad. Weasels are definitely a lot worse. Um, so now just like the coyote, I kind of free that up part ways, just give it a nick. Get my tail splitter. Hold the base of the tail. Just curl it out. And very little work now to, to pull it off. I'm gonna pull it straight down. So Duke. Duke, go. And then you free the shoulders and the legs. Just pull up. Take your knife. Give it a little nick there in the leather. And it just tears and pops. I'm gonna lift it up now. Just pull it over the head to the ears. Here's the ear butt. Watch out for the carotid arteries. I want to nick that. Could bleed all over your pelt. Free that up, give it a tug. Next thing you're going to come to is your eyes. I give it a little pinch. Your eyelids are nice and small. You gotta lift this up a little bit more. There you go. So you can see you have all the eyelid there. This one's a little bit nicked up just because it was a little bit lower than what I'm used to working at. Corner of the eye, go down there. It's the corner of your mouth, both sides. Free it up. 
put your finger in there. Chin's cut, cut off there, so now I can just work down to the base of the nose. That's cut off. Now we're off to the, put it on the board. I'll show you how I flesh them. So you pick the right board for the, the animal so we have a nice big male. So I'll use the male one. I got my marks on there for the auction. So I'll flesh them right on the, the board. So how I do it is I put them on sideways first. Grab a spoon, start at the base of the ear, and work any fat or meat off there, and then you hold the leg up, same thing. And then you just hold the back leg, hold, hold it tight, and work off the, the saddle, the meat. down the groin. Then it's gonna just pull the last bit, it's gonna just pull right off. Flip it over. And then put it so your back's on the side where your measurements are. You want to center it up nice. Eyes centered. Mouth and leg centered on the other side. And pull her down. Then you just have a little bit of more flushing down the center on the back, and that's good there. And then a little bit on the, the front side. Pull that off. There's a little bit of fat here. Depends when it is. You can scrape it off. Right now it's not too, there's not much fat there right now, so I just took the top part off. And that's good enough to, to finish here. So, so we're centered. I'll flip it back over. Just look it over here. Just kind of run your hand down and it naturally stretches it. And this guy's going to make a double extra large pretty easy. I'm not working him or nothing. Just kind of lightly stroking it. And then past the line. If you wanted to get a bit more, you can... Kind of curl it, pull it from the front, and kind of feed it through the back. And that'll help thin out the front, belly side, and then give you more length on the back side. Just a little thing we learned. So I, so I pull down each side so it's even. And I'm not stretching it super tight I'm just pulling it down so it's it's taut so then I go on both sides go out here put a pin both sides close to the tail and this is where you want to kind of just eyeball it make sure it's straight and then I'll give it another pin between those two pins Now the tail needs to be split. Grab one of these puppies. Just put it in and pull, and she's split. So I run my finger in there. Kind of hold that open.
The idea is just to make sure it lays open and it dries. That's all it is for this side, so now I'll flip it over. Come back up here. Trim off that bottom jaw. Go up there. Right to the, the lip. Grab two clothespins. Just like that. Trim that short. That'll dry nice. We'll do my bottom legs. And since I got the back pinned, I don't have to pull hard on this trying to get any length or anything. I just snug it up. Go in the belly, there's gonna be a little bit of uh, dirty fur there. Just pull it up and run your knife down each side and then just trim your legs up. And then always remember your belly board. So this is just a cattail stick. Just enough there so there's a bit of a buffer. Pull it up there and now this will dry. You can, I usually turn them the next day but it'll probably in four hours you can turn them and you'll be good. It'll be dry enough that it won't stick and, and uh, rot on you. But a nice prime Martin. There's no black markings of the fur roots there so should be up in the high grades. I uh, get Quite a few good Martin and each year one or two top lots. So this is how I do it. Uh, if it looks good to you or you want to try it, feel free. Let me know how you do it. Catch you later.